Diesel engine is an engine operating in diesel cycle and burning diesel fuel oil instead of gasoline. Meron tayong dalawang type ng makina na ginagamit sa automobile. Ang una ay diesel engine at ang pangalawa ay gasoline engine. Ang diesel engine ay gumagamit ng diesel fuel at saka ang gasoline naman ay gumagamit ng gasoline fuel. The diesel cycle is an engine operating cycle in which the air is compressed and then the diesel fuel is injected into the hot compressed air to produce combustion. Sa diesel engine, ang ginagamit natin dito ay heat of compression para magka-produce ng combustion. Unlike sa gasoline engine na ang ginagamit natin doon ay spark, spark plug, para masunog yung fuel inside the cylinder. Diesel engines are similar to spark ignition engine in construction. Magkaparehos lang yung diesel engine saka spark ignition engine in construction. Both have cylinder heads, cylinder blocks, pistons, piston rings, cylinders, and bearings. Kung ano ang nakikita natin guys sa diesel engine ay meron din sa gasoline engine. Although may ilang parts na pagkakaiba. So makikita natin dito, this is a 6-cylinder engine. Bakit tinawag natin 6-cylinder? Kasi 6 ang piston. So makikita nyo isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim. So 6 ang piston ng makina na to. Kaya tinawag siyang 6-cylinder engine. Pag apat lang yung piston, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, 4-cylinder engine yan. So meron tayong mga sasakyan na 4-cylinder Meron din tayo ng 5-cylinder, meron siya ng 6, and so on. May tinatawag din tayong mga B-type na makina. Okay, these are the components of an engine. We have here the rocker arm. So, meron tayong rocker arm dyan sa taas. Then ito yung camshaft. This type of engine is overhead camshaft. Pag tinawag natin overhead camshaft, yung camshaft na ay nasa cylinder head. Yung ibang type ng makina naman, yung camshaft niya ay nasa cylinder block. Okay, so we have here the intake valves and we have the exhaust valve. In this case, there are four valves in one cylinder. This means that two of the, two of the valves are intake valves and the other two is exhaust valves. Minsan guys, yung intake valve at saka exhaust valve ay magkaiba yung size. Kadalasan mas malaki yung size ng intake valve kumpara sa exhaust valve. Meron din tayo dito ng valve spring. Ito yung tinatawag natin na valve spring. Then dito naman piston, piston rings. Okay, there are two types of piston rings. Yung pinakataas, ang tawag niyan ay compression rings. Ang sa sunod ay tinatawag natin na oil rings. Okay? Meron din tayong tinatawag na piston, pin. These are the connecting rods. Meron din tayo ng crankshaft, crank pin. They have engine valves, intake, and exhaust port, camshaft, crankshaft, connecting rods, and other similarities in parts. One major difference in construction between diesel engine and gasoline engine is that the parts of diesel engines are usually heavier and stronger than the gasoline engine. This is because the internal pressure is higher in the diesel engine. Okay, so ang pagkakaiba dito guys, no, sa parts ng, dis, ng gasoline sa kanang diesel engine, ay mas stronger at mas mabigat yung mga parts ng diesel engine. Kasi, mas mataas yung compression na nade-develop dito sa loob ng cylinder pag diesel engine. Kasi, diesel engine is more powerful than gasoline engine. So, dito na tayo guys sa diesel engine operation. So, the actions in the diesel engines are divided into four parts. Each part consists of a piston stroke. 
This is the movement of the piston or distance that the piston moves in traveling from bottom dead center to top dead center or from top dead center to bottom dead center. So, ito naman guys, example ng two-cylinder engine. So, we have two limiting position of pistons. Itong pinakataas, yan ang tinatawag natin na top dead center. That is the uppermost limit na naaabot ng piston when it travels inside the cylinder. Ito naman, yung pinakababa, yan ang tinatawag natin na bottom dead center. The distance between the top dead center and, and the bottom dead center is called piston stroke. So, makikita ninyo dito guys, meron tayong piston rings, piston pin, connecting rod, and then rotation of crankshaft. So, ang rotation ng crankshaft natin guys, pag nasa harap tayo ng makina, ay clockwise. No? Saan ang harap ng makina? Kung saan yung propeller? Kung saan naka, nakalagay yung fan, engine fan, or yung mga drive belts, yun yung harap ng makina. So, pag nakaharap ka sa makina, ang rotation ng crankshaft ay clockwise. Pag nasa likod ka ng makina, ang rotation ng crankshaft ay counter clockwise. The complete cycle of events in engine cylinder requires four piston strokes. So, ito yung four piston strokes natin. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. These are the intake, compression, power, and exhaust. The crankshaft makes two complete revolutions to complete the four piston strokes. So, dalawang ikot guys ng crankshaft bago matapos yung cycle ng 4 stroke cycle engine unlike sa 2 stroke cycle engine in one revolution there is one power stroke while in 4 stroke cycle engine it takes two complete revolution of crankshaft before Power stroke. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang ikot ng crankshaft bago mag-power. Then, sa two-stroke cycle, every one revolution ay nagpa-power yung makina, power stroke. Okay, so, makikita ninyo guys dito, ito yung diesel engine, example of diesel engine. So, mayroon tayo ng intake valve, exhaust valve, Meron tayo ng camshaft, nozzle, then injector. So, yan yung four piston strokes. This makes the diesel engine a four stroke cycle engine. The word cycle the word cycle means a series of events that repeat themselves. Okay, so pagkatapos guys ng intake, compression, power, and exhaust, ay babalik naman siya sa Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. So, yan yung cycle ng four stroke inside the cylinder. So, this is the intake stroke. We as discuss it completely. Intake stroke, the piston stroke from top dead center to bottom dead center. So, ang unang stroke guys sa makina ay intake stroke. During which the intake valve opens and the cylinder fills with air. The diesel engine takes in air alone during intake stroke. Okay, so ito yung intake valve natin. Pag intake stroke ay pababa ang piston moving downwards. Then open ang intake valve dito. Tingnan niyo, ito yung intake valve natin. That is the intake valve. Then pababa ang piston, papasok ang Hangin. Pag naabot na ng piston yung bottom dead center, ay start na naman pataas yung piston natin. At yan naman ang tinatawag na compression stroke. The piston movement from bottom dead center to top dead center immediately following the 
intic stroke, during which the intic and exhaust valves are closed while air in the air, while air in the cylinder is compressed. In the diesel engine, the upward moving piston compresses air alone. Okay, so the next stroke is compression. During compression stroke, makikita niyo dito guys, no? Sa dalawang figure, naka-close yung intake saka exhaust valve. So, ito din no? naka-close ang intake saka exhaust valve. Ang piston ay moving upwards at wala siyang singaw. No? Walang singaw dyan. So, dapat wala, walang leakage dyan kasi pag nagkaroon ng leakage during compression stroke ay wala tayong makokompress at yan ang tinatawag na loss compression. Pag nagkaroon tayo ng loss compression, ang resulta niyan ay low power. Kasi kunti na lang yung air na ikokompress natin dahil halimbawa pag may mga leakage dito sa valve mo, sa intake valve or exhaust valve, yung air na na-intake niya ay mag escape dito sa intake port or sa exhaust port. Or sometimes, halimbawa, ang piston ring mo ay sira na, during compression stroke ay dito dadaan yung air sa gilid. So, ang tawag dyan ay blow by. No? Dadaan dyan sa gilid, so wala kang makukompress na hangin. Pag wala kang nakompress, ang sabi ko nga ay magkakaroon ng loss compression that will result to power loss or loss of power. Okay, so after the compression stroke, ang susunod dyan ay power stroke. The piston stroke from top dead center to bottom dead center. So, galing daw sa taas, top dead center to bottom dead center. This happens immediately following the compression stroke during which the valves are closed and the fuel burns. So, dito guys, kanina, compression stroke, pag malapit na yung ito, pag malapit na yung piston sa taas during the compression stroke uh, or compression stroke, ay mag spray ngayon ng diesel fuel ang injector. So, dahil mainit yung hangin na kinompress natin at nag-spray ng diesel fuel sa mainit na hangin, magkakaroon dyan ng combustion. Yung combustion na yan ay yung pagsabog o pagsunog ng fuel. So, ang tawag dyan ay heat of compression. Yung pagsunog sa diesel fuel ay heat of compression. Init ng compression. The resulting combustion yan ay itutulak na yung piston pababa, yung force ng combustion or yung pagputok. So, yan na yung naririnig natin sa exhaust, manifold or sa muffler na tumutunog. Yung, yan yung combustion na nangyari sa loob ng cylinder. Dito. So, nagkaroon ng combustion or pagsabog, kaya siyempre may tunog. In the diesel engine, a light oil called diesel fuel is sprayed into the compressed and hot air. And the last stroke is the exhaust stroke. The piston stroke from bottom dead center to top dead center, immediately following the power stroke, during which the exhaust valve opens so the exhaust gases can escape from the cylinder to the exhaust manifold. Okay, so after guys ng power stroke ay susunod exhaust, ilalabas na ngayon yung nasunog na fuel. So, ang open dyan ay exhaust valve at papunta na yan sa ating muffler or sa exhaust pipe. So, makikita ninyo, ito yung intake, intake valve natin, ito yung exhaust valve. And then, Bukas yung exhaust valve dahil itutulak ng piston pababa yung nasunog na air and fuel. Or yung fuel natin. 
So, after that, babalik na naman siya sa intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Hanggat may sinusupply tayo na fuel dito sa injector or sa nozzle, ay tuloy-tuloy yung pag-antar ng ating makina. Pag kinat off natin yung supply ng fuel, ay saka palang titigil yung pag-antar ng makina. So, these are the characteristics of diesel engine. First, the diesel engine has no throttle valve. Wala siyang throttle valve. Katulad ng sa gasoline engine. Except in some engines with pneumatic governor. Another characteristics of diesel engine, it compresses only air on the compression stroke. So, nasabi natin kanina na during intake stroke ay hangin lang ang ini-intake ng diesel engine. Heat of compression ignites fuel as it sprays into the engine cylinder. So, ang init ng pag-compress ang nagpapa-ignite sa fuel or sumusunog sa fuel sa loob ng cylinder. So, diesel engine has a high compression ratio of 16 is to 1 or 22 is to 1. So, ang tinatawag natin guys na compression ratio, this is the measure of how much the air is compressed during the compression stroke. Other characteristics ng diesel engine natin is the control or engine power and speed by the amount of fuel sprayed in the cylinders. More fuel equals more power. So, yan yung controls engine power and speed by the amount of fuel sprayed into the cylinders. So, yun guys, nakadepindi sa isusupply mo na fuel. The more fuel you supply inside the cylinder, the more powerful your engine becomes. So, yan. Pag binawasan mo yung apak mo sa accelerator, kasi nakadepindi yan sa apak natin sa accelerator. Pag tinapakan natin ng accelerator, ibig sabihin, tataas yung pressure doon sa injection systems natin. Then, maraming fuel ang isusupply doon sa cylinder. Pag binitawan natin yung accelerator, yung, ac yung accelerator guys, alam nyo na yan, yung naapakan natin sa sasakyan para tumakbo. Pag binitawan natin, ibig sabihin, binawasan natin yung supply ng fuel. Kaya yung makina natin ay babagal yung andar. And another characteristics, it has a glow plugs or an electric intake manifold heater to make starting easier. Glow plugs are installed in the pre-combustion chamber of diesel engines to preheat the chamber for easier starting in cold weather. So yan, meron siyang guys sinatawag na glow plug. Yung glow plug na yan, bago ka mag-start, ay i-on mo. Or i-heater mo siya. No? Kasi especially during cold weather, especially in the morning, matagal mag-andar ang diesel engine pag hindi mo ginamitan ng heater or ng glow plugs.